Good day, everyone. Welcome to WiseLink Academy. Today, we want to look on how to draw an ellipse using approximate method. Now, the first thing you do is to draw your horizontal line this way. If I take my T square and my pencil this way, I will draw my horizontal line. Now, next up, if I draw my horizontal line, the next thing I do is to measure any distance of my choice. So I can wish to measure 10, 8, any one of the choice. You make sure it is an even number. So let me measure my let me measure 10. That is, it's from here to here. Is my 10. So let me take this. Let's say this is zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My point ten from here to here is my point ten. Am I right? Now, the next thing I will do is what? I will bisect this line. So now I'll take my compass with any given range of my choice. I just take it this way. I'll cut an arc. Let me see. I'll cut an arc at this point and downward to. Similarly, I'll come to another point here, I'll cut an arc here, and downward too. So, where they meet, the center point where they meet, I what? I will draw my vertical line touching through. Can you see? This one here is meeting at this point. The arc here is meeting at this point. Why this arc here is meeting at this point? This one at this point. So similarly, I what I will join them together. So look at it. If I join them together, I'll take it this way. So we draw what an inclined line downward, touching through both um, arc. So we are having this. Am I right? So just know that this is touching this. And down one two is touching the down one as you can see. So automatically from here to somewhere here is five. So which one here is what is five. That's what bisect that's the amount of bisection. It helps you divide line in a perfect way. So next up, after I'm sorry to divide that line, we call this point point what point O. The next thing to do. After you put that point point O, you see what? Take your what? Your compass. Since from here to here is five, from here to here is five. I will remove one centimeter from each of them. That is, I will measure what? I will measure four centimeter. Zero from zero here to five is my what? My four. All right. Put at this point. At this point O, strike an arc here. Similarly, you come to this point here. Strike an arc here too. So you'll be having so I call this point my point C and point what? Point D. Next up, I will what and I'll call this point here point E. Let's show my procedure. Then you connect this point C to somewhere in this vertical line, anyway. Thank you. If you push anywhere. Am I right? So let me just join it so that whatever I'm doing you see it very well. Let me show what I'm doing. So I will join this my point C to one vertical line here. Let's see, let's touch this point this way. As you can see what I'm doing. So next up, after you have successfully what locate the point here, you point this point what my point A. My point A. So now what you do now is to what is to buy is to what take the arc of EC strike it on what line AC and what bisect line EF that is I will take the rules of from this point here to this point as you can see this at this point same point at the same point here strike your arc you call this point your point what your point F so similarly you take your uh, your pin of compass this way any result of choice strike an arc like this you come to this point here, strike an arc, come to this down here, strike an arc. You can see, come to this point here, 
strike an arc come in at least it's touching this point here and this point so you want to join them together this way you can see so where they touch this line I've drawn here you call it what your H am I right so similarly I will have to extend this line here to this point so this is my line H I'll call this line here G so I'll just measure from my O to point G to mark G1 on the other point here here my what my point G1 here my point G1 and you take from here to your point H from here to here to indicate what H1 at this point here my what point H1 as you can see what I'm doing so next up after those we indicate those points we join them so we join those points together. Let's join them. Let's see what we are having. We join point H1 to G. H1 to G. This way. So similarly, we join G1 to H. So I'm so again join this to this see so I'm doing next stop you come to point G1 and H1 and you get and then get this way as you can see you're having this so next stop what you just do is what we take a pin of compass as point G measure to the radius of, of this so just draw a what it says a circle this way as you can see as you can see I'm doing so next stop come to your point H extend it this point here then you have to draw your arc this way as you can see I'm doing next stop come to your point H2 here with that same radius with that same what with that same radius or if it needs to gauge you get it draw it down this way this point that's what I'm doing so next similarly you take your commas at this point G1 here then you finally what to close them up this way Yes, we are having this. We are having this. So we have actually what drawn our what ellipse using what we called the rental approximate method. On this video, F2, kindly click on the subscription button and like. Thank you. Welcome to Wise Link Academy. In our next video, we'll be doing um, how to what how to draw ellipse using um auxiliary method or you call it concentric method so thank you very much thanks for watching